Hello guys and welcome to Wipedout. This is another game that was developed for the Ludum Dare 30. Uh, it was made within 48 hours. And it's by Rene Rother. Rother? 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 Some, someone. It's called Wipedout and apparently we are on an Arctic... Antarctic expedition and your partner disappeared. Explore the environment and fight him without getting lost yourself. So apparently we're supposed to find him. That will go well. Fox? Where are you? Shit. 30C. Alright, now, now I figured it out. We're supposed to take these and uh, then we can go and like place them out so we can find our way back, I guess. Uh, and so just so we know where we are. I, I was a bit confused as to how we were supposed to do that, but you're supposed to use the mouse. I think this is a very good one to place out. Uh, just so we know that, oh, okay, we've gone that far. So apparently we die at 20C, so we should be careful not to die. Sounds good, right? Yeah. Because there's a lot of these strewn about, so... Maybe we should be able to take quite a few of these. Seems to be regular ice. But as long as we can keep that behind us, we should be able to find our way. I, I don't really want to go out without one of those, but... Um, one of those sticks or poles, but I suppose we have two anyways. So uh, let's just go on. As long as we know that we came from that way, we can find our way back home quite easily. I can see stuff in the distance. Oh, what's that? That's something. I can see something, but I'm not sure what it is. I need to turn back soon. Is that a whale? Oh. What? Uh, let's go back. And <laughs> try to find our way back, because I'm not entirely sure if I can do that. I die at 20 C, so we ought to hurry. It was somewhere in that general direction, I think. Oh shit, I've, I'm lost. <laughs> Okay. Let's not panic. Um, I'm pretty sure there was somewhere around this general direction. I'm pretty sure we can find... I did walk quite a lot a long time, so... Um, I'm positive it was towards here somewhere. But I fear I might die. Because I'm on 28 Celsius. Pretty sure I wasn't here. <laughs> oh crap. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Like, six minutes in and already dying. That's, uh... I'm lost. I'm utterly lost. I do not... F I can't find my way home. Oh, shit. Although I find... There's a... S there's a sculpture thing there. Maybe... There is something over here. <gasps> I can see a stick. 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 Oh my god, I might not die. I might not die. But it was fucking close. 26 Celsius. Yeah, you're pretty cold if you're that. It's definitely over here then. Oh. Holy smoking Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I did not die. I did not die. I haven't done. I haven't found any clues of him. 24 Celsius. Yeah, dang. I'm standing inside a flame. Because why the fuck not? Am I right? So let's take another stick. This one, please. Thank you. And go the other way. So if I go a straight line, if I only go a straight line, I should be I should be fine. Because if I just turn around, that's fine, you know. But I should not start aimlessly walking. This is very exciting, I realize that. But I found this game to be really interesting in a way. Not that I'm gonna find him ever again, but... Um, like, I can hear things, but I'm not sure if that's just, a, a, like, the sound from the wind. If someone is calling me, I don't know. What is that, actually? Is that, like, whales? Dead whales? Sea lions? What is that? I don't even know. Okay, let's just follow the footsteps home. I can tell you one thing, I'm never gonna find my partner. That much I can tell you. Right, those are really creepy. Those things. They're really creepy. 
Like, if this was real life, I'd die so horribly. Like, I would be dead by now. 31C, yeah. Oh, there I can find one, at least. It's very... I don't know where to go. Um, it's not like there's any landmarks per se here. I've come to the conclusion that I will probably never be able to finish this game. But I do think it's an interesting thing, though, and I definitely can see the potential if you, like, sit down, download it, and you'll know, sit with your headphones and explore an environment. I can totally see how that could be a good game, but when you're doing Let's Plays, it's kind of hard. Because you want to keep it entertaining, sort of, in a way, and you want stuff to happen, and this is just white nothingness. But I love the concept of it, I mean, it's just that it's kind of bleak, kind of hard to see. Oh no, am I lost again? I walked in a straight line, how can I be lost? Is my campsite there? Or is this one leading to my campsite? Oh, even even the fucking poles are confusing me now. I'm three Celsius away from dying. Well, we found home just in time. 22C. Two more degrees down and I would have died by now. So, that's good. Eh? This game was harder than I expected it to be, but I think I'm going to end it even though I didn't actually f actually find anything. The main goal was anyways to just show it or just play it a bit, because it looked interesting. It's on itch.io. It feels like the area might have been a bit too big, to be completely honest. Especially when it's so bloody hard to see, like... I didn't see any clues of where he could have gone off to, like, I saw nothing. I'm not sure if I missed something, but I didn't see anything that could have led me to where he was, so that's a bit of a bummer, but the concept was good anyways, and I like that. But anyway, I'm going to end it now, so I'll see you in the next episode of Devitism Make. Bye for now.